Hey, it's your book hound here coming at you with another book we want to howl about, so to speak. If you like what you see here, hit subscribe, and we're coming at you every week with great reviews and special offers and all kinds of fun stuff. So today we're going to talk about Her Deadly Game by Robert Dugoni, which is, I think, the first in a series of courtroom thrillers starring, featuring, it's not a movie, they don't star. It's featuring a character named Kira Dubin, who is a criminal defense attorney in Seattle. And so previously, um, Dugan, who I think is in her 30s, um, <clears throat> was an up-and-coming prosecutor in the DA's office, the King County DA's office. And uh, her career there got derailed because she had a relationship with her boss, a, the, a senior DA named, um, named uh, Miller Ambrose. So she's you know, obviously a little bit bitter about that, but she's getting on with her life and she's decided to work with her father and her sister in the family law firm. Her father uh, was at one time considered kind of the king of criminal defense attorneys in Seattle, kind of a, you know, a Irish American brawling, you know, pugnacious and talented lawyer. But the problem is he's an alcoholic and his drinking is catching up with him and his law firm is having a lot of trouble. <clears throat> and one thing here, you know, Dugoni is very strong as a writer in showing, depicting an alcoholic family. He gets into this and it's uh, based on what I know very accurate, unfortunately, about the way this family works, about the way people make excuses for the father and the kids are angry at him, but covering up for him and the wife who's an enabler. Uh, so it's, it's an important aspect of the story and it provides kind of a, an emotional backbone to the story that elevates it beyond sort of the average uh, kind of courtroom thriller. But the, the, the book has a lot of that too. So what happens here is that there is a uh, very wealthy investment manager named uh, Vince LaRussa who, um, <clears throat> who is, comes home from a charity event where he's been speaking and finds his wife shot to death in their kitchen of their fancy home and his wife unfortunately had been paralyzed in a horseback riding accident and she'd been in a wheelchair for a while and um, although there's no evidence tying Vince to the crime and he has an alibi sort of he's the only natural suspect it's like who else could have done this and um, he's arrested and it's one of those and he calls Kira for defense and she agrees to defend him and it's one of those weird stories where like there's really almost nothing to the prosecution's case but it's also open and shut like this guy is looking at he's going to go to jail for this even though they can't prove that he did it but it's like well, who else did it so that's the question who else did it and that's the mystery that kira is going to try and solve along with the private investigator she works with meanwhile there's some mysterious person sending her email messages hinting that Vince is not all he seems. He isn't this nice guy, self-made millionaire who's really generous. He's actually a creepy weirdo. And um, she's trying to sort it all out. And then what happens is, and this, to be honest with you, I, I'm not a lawyer, but I did not understand that she insists on a rapid trial, which means that she's going into court with nothing. She's got like no, nothing to defend this guy with. She's just kind of on the seat of her pants. And so you're kind of wondering, like, why did you do this? But I guess, I don't know, that's what makes it interesting. Um, and I don't want to spoil the ending, but the book definitely takes you to a place that you're not expecting. It's a fun read. Dugoni knows what he's doing when it comes to legal thrillers.